welcome to five minutes about ADHD and autism. Uh, the next five minutes I would like to use to about finding a way out of the conflicts. I have uh, two sons, I have three sons, but two of them is having ADHD and autism and autism. And um, their uh, childhood was filled with conflicts. Um, and um, when the when the one of my boys uh, was in kindergarten, we had to do something. Uh, he he couldn't um, he couldn't see. He had he has no empathy, so he couldn't see if um, if he was hurting anybody. He has, he just thought about his own feelings. So when um, if he was uh, sitting and playing with a sit, sitting and playing with a red car a ball or something uh, and put it somewhere and walked away and some other kids took that car or that ball he would attack them he would be so angry because they have stolen his car and his ball and uh, and we had to do something about it because he was um he was making all the other kids afraid of being together with him so we made such one and i'm sorry it is in danish because i'm from denmark but uh, i'll explain it we we used pictures because he couldn't read of course he was three or four years old um, I'm playing with the car. It is uh, the kindergarten's car. It's not mine. Maybe I leave the car. And maybe some other kids is using the car. And it is okay because it is the kindergarten's car. I might be sad or I might be angry. Uh, when, I, when that happens, I, I should go to a grown-up and tell her or his, him what... Um, what I'm sad about, what I'm angry about. Every day when I came to pick him up, to bring him home, I was asking asking him, was it a good day? I didn't say, was it a bad day? I said, was it a good day? And when he said yes, we put a sticker. This is a car stickers because he was a boy. Um, and we put a sticker on the wall. And all the kids in the kindergarten could see that wall and was asking, why did you do that? Why is he having that cool red fire car or whatever it was? And I could say because he had a day when he was a good, when he was a good boy, when he was happy, when he made you happy. He was a good friend today. So um, when he had 10 stickers on the wall, he would bring uh, cookies or something like that to, the, to the, all the kids in the kindergarten. So they were all looking forward for him to succeed, to do this. And um, in the day, uh, if he was getting angry, they would say to him, don't, don't be angry because then you will miss your sticker. So it, it became all the kindergarten kids project to make my son behave calm and put a word into his feelings and not put action into his feelings. It took two weeks uh, for him to, uh, to totally understand this and not hit the other uh, boys or girls and um, he had suddenly no, almost no conflicts um, just because of this so um, what I what, what is in, on my heart is use pictures because pictures is remember much more clearly than words especially to kids but actually to all human beings we remember pictures a lot better than we remember words um, and if you use pictures, there is one place in your brain remembering uh, all the visual effects and another place in your brain remember words. So if you put words on it and you put pictures on it, there are two spaces in the brain who work together to remember this. So use pictures, use words, use it all, just use it, just do it. Um, because what we did was we gave him some tools and we put a focus to succeed to his successes i never said was it a bad day i and if it was a bad day if he said no i it was not i was not a good friend today we said never mind we try again tomorrow i, I was never angry about this i was never saying what did i tell you never because this should be something positive it should be focused on something nice when when mom is coming in the kindergarten it shouldn't be oh no now she's coming and and she's going to blame me uh, like all the grown-ups have done all the day long so 
this was what I wanted to share with you. Use pictures and use pictures to show what you really, really want for your kids. And use this so that there will be a reward, some kind of reward. I don't care if it is a money or a hug or a trip to McDonald's or whatever it is. Just let that be a reward because our kids need to have the reward to focus on instead of focus on being blamed or being cursed or being uh, the one no one is going to play with.